Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip Equipment, and what we have for sale here today is a Cat D6N XL. The serial number of this machine is, uh, you got it, Pearl? Yeah. AKM0218. I'm going to leave that last digit blank. Uh, if you buy this tractor from me or any of the others that I have for sale, we got some compactors uh, there. We've got some backhoes, we've got some loaders, we've got that service truck, this dozer, we got that big Cabelco SK uh, 350, we got a Takeuchi TV 1140, some water trucks. Anyway, uh, point is, uh, if you buy this tractor from me or any of the others that I have for sale, you're going to be dealing with Pro Provencio. He's my right-hand man. He's the run, guy running the camera. Uh, price on a new machine like this these days is, uh, I don't know, $450,000 easy. may even be more than that. May, it may be a half million these days. Um, as far as the hours on this machine go, we, we've got a slight problem with the monitor panel right now. We're trying to figure out what's wrong with it. So we're going to just say it's uh, hours unknown. I've, I've got an idea, but I don't want to say anything until we get that monitor panel going. But I've had enough people. I had a D5N that I was selling, and we had a lot of people. I told a lot of people that we had this 6N that I was considering selling also. So. I'm going to go ahead and just get this video out here so that uh, folks can know what we got. And then uh, in the meantime, we'll try to fix that monitor panel to give you an accurate hour meter reading. It could be something is we don't know what it is. It's, it's not a fuse, so we'll, we'll figure it out. Weight on this machine is about 36,610 pounds. The widest point is this dozer blade right here at 10 foot 2 inches. The transportation length from the front of this cutting edge to the rear of that ripper is uh, 19 and a half feet. Uh, com comparable machines are like a Komatsu D65EX or maybe a John Deere 750. As far as the history of this unit goes, this machine, like almost every machine we purchase, is an original owner Dallas, Texas machine. The reason that I say that and the significance of that is that we're far enough from the ocean, we're 300 miles from the ocean, we're far enough south that the only salt we see is the salt on our kitchen table. So uh, we don't work in a corrosive environment. So this machine is essentially rust free. I mean, you'll see where the, where the paint's been knocked off the work equipment, the undercarriage and where rainwater's gotten to it. But this, uh, rust is is no way shape or form pervasive on this machine it's essentially a rust free machine just about every machine we purchase comes from one of about 30 different large contractors and municipalities that we deal with here in the metroplex uh, this uh, particular dozer uh, comes from a company that's one of the larger uh, site prep, prep companies here in texas He's a really good friend of mine, the owner, there's two owners of the company and uh, anyway, they're real good guys and they got a, a maintenance manager that main, maintains all their equip, equipment and uh, I gotta say that they've got an excellent maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. We've been happy with all the machines that we've purchased from these guys and it should be said that before I purchase any machine, I have two mechanics go out and inspect the machine. And if they say everything's okay with the machine, then I uh, send Pro Provencio out to uh, inspect the machine. And if he says everything's okay with the machine, then I personally go out and I look at the machine before I write a check, provided the money's right, of course. Um, as far as options go, this has got a six, six way P PAT blade, power angle tilt, six way blade. Uh, it's got rippers. These rippers are, uh, they're actually 27 inches long, but they're considered 12, uh, 24 inch rippers. 
the three shank multi-variable ripper in the back. Um, bro, does this have a battery disconnect switch? It does. Where is it? I, b I believe it's back in here. Oh. oh, here it is right here. It's got a battery disconnect switch, which comes in handy if the tractor is going to be sitting for any time, then uh, you can kill the battery and uh, not worry about having to start it. Um, it's an enclosed cab is another option. All the original glass is in it. The AC blows ice cold. The heater uh, works perfectly well as well. As far as this engine goes, this is a Cat 3126 uh, engine. Oh, shit. There you go. This is a 145 horsepower engine. It's a six cylinder, 3126. It's a bulletproof engine. Goes in a lot of uh, Caterpillar tractors. Um, all of the fluid levels on this unit are where they should be. This machine is mechanically sound. There's absolutely no leaks on it anywhere. Everything on it works. The transmission runs through all gears. The four, 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 I'm sorry, three forward and uh, three reverse. Without any hesitation, the undercarriage, as you can see, is about 65%. Um, we're going to have a little bit of trouble. Uh, we're just going to, I'm going to raise this uh, tractor up from the ripper and with the blade. And I'm going to shift through all the gears because we, as you can see, it tears up our lot pretty good. These are, uh, these pads right here are, I don't know, two and a half, three inches. And it, uh, it chops up our driveway pretty good, so I can't really run it back and forth. The hydraulics on this machine are strong. There's no cracks or welds on it. Everything is relatively tight. There's very little deflection in that blade area. This cutting edge here is about 85%. Again, this blade is 10 foot 7 inches wide and it's a 3 foot 11 inches tall. It's considered a 5.6 yard blade. The shoe width on this tractor is 24 inches. It's got a 24 inch pad on it. It's 10 foot 10 inches on the ground which yields about a 7.2 PSI. That's relatively light, but uh, like I say, those, uh, those grousers, those single grouser track pads, are, they just chop up our yard too bad for me to run it back and forth. So um, The drawbar pull on this tractor is pretty impressive. It's got a drawbar pull of 71,000 pounds. So drawbar pull is the uh, defined as the amount of weight a machine can push or pull in addition to its own weight Which like I say in the case of this machine, it's 71,000 pounds um, Bro, what do you think about this tractor? It's a good one. I like it. it starts good, right up. Yeah, it's uh, the batteries are a little bit low So uh, whenever we go to start it it kind of We got a we got a weak battery on it we'll, Maybe we'll change that too, but it does start what else, bro? All That's, the lights on it work, right? Yes, sir, they do. Uh, they sure the do. only problem with this machine is that we, we, we're having trouble with that monitor panel, but we're going we're gonna to see about, about fixing that. And I guess that's about it. We're going to run it in the next clip.
so this is the monitor panel here. Uh, for some reason, we're not getting any power here. Uh, these gauges seem to be working though. But um, this is the inside of the cab here. Here's your forward and reverse. This has got to be down for you to uh, uh, operate the machine at your safety or your brake. Here's your ripper. Here's your, this is how you tilt the blade. Raise the blade, lower the blade. Tilt it like that. So, and then here's your seat. Good shape. It's a good tractor. 